And I believe that you can ninja too. Dealing with Alpha Blade. Nice. Alright. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. That's okay. Mm. You know what? Just block it. Uh, more seriously, you can throw it, but uh, that's kind of a hard read and objectively bad? Objectively bad. Uh, the situation after blocking isn't all that good either because Faust has sad normals. Uh, fuzzy super jump dive kick, though, looks like a pretty good answer if you have 50 bar. However, if you don't have 50 bar... Nice. Awesome. Again, excellent. Mm -hmm. So just back off. Yeah. Dealing with Beta Blade. Uh, learn to throw it on Wake Up. Uh, just in general, like taking advantage of the fact that DPs are throw vulnerable is very important. If you have 50 bar, you can hedge with PRC. Um, but just blocking it and going for the big fat punish is probably even better. Dealing with Alpha Blade. Again, 5k is a dominant option that recovers quickly out of block stun here. Um, it seems really good and will dominate most of Chip's offense uh, as he recovers. Inputting 2s on whiff of 5k? Seems like a really good way to catch, like, delayed options or uh, air off the blade stuff. Counterplay seems a little hard for Chip. 5k 2s. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. As far as reacting to his ability to delay in the air and do delayed options, we'll have to see. Now, repositioning with uh, 214k PRC also seems to have some potential. Uh, the sudden crossover has the potential to, like, ruin Chip's inputs or have him attack in the wrong direction. Also, it just looks cool. Damn. I'm dealing with Leaf Grab. A reaction backdash throw seems pretty good. A little tricky, but could see dividends. Nice wall break, you know? But if you do it a little too late, uh, I think he can tag. Now, Rising Jump K Mix 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 seems like a really reliable reaction punish. Dealing with Resho, Rokusai, and Senshu. Probably a good idea to respect the Eureka traps. The reward for Chip with RC is quite high. Uh, after the second 2 3 success, uh, P confirm is probably recommended for a risk averse option. But if you do like 5 P to P on ground hit, it sucks so much. Thanks, Arxis. If you play passively in this way, however, the overhead can be crawled on reaction. Which is super high reward. However, just be careful. Chip historically, you know, has zany options from PRC. And if you're playing too reactively, you open yourself up to throws. So maybe consider fuzzy jumping and pressure when you think that's on deck. Dealing with wall run cancel. So you can do a rhythm close slash in pressure to try and like shut down wall runs if you think they're coming. Uh, the reward is ridiculous and meterless, so maybe it's good. You know, he's made out of paper. Seems like a nice punish. 5k might have some relevance, but it's kind of finicky. That was a 5k super jump cancel. Blah. Uh, I feel like 6-6 six, six, BRC input, like as a wire COS, like to call out gaps, has some defensive potential here. So keep that in mind. That looks a little wild. Could be good. Could be complete garbage, so... Mm. General thoughts. A chip who's burnt their air options might not have the maneuverability to challenge jump H well. Once he double jumps, he doesn't have like an air dash or anything. Uh, 2H to snipe landing recovery might be worth something. Air blocking chip can suck a lot. A lot, a lot. A lot. 
when Chip has 50 bar, don't test his reactions. Um, your item toss, your scalpel, your bag toss are all reaction punishable and neutral with a variety of options. Just be careful. And as always, thanks for watching.